Bills, Browns, and we expect the dog pound will be barking loudly here at First Energy Stadium. Phil, we've got a couple of the best tight ends in the game on each sideline today, and they could be the difference makers. You know, these tight ends, they can do it all. They're tremendous blockers for the running game. They got the speed to go down the field, and they got feet, Jim, you know, those quick feet. So even when they run those short routes, if there's man-to-man -man coverage, they're quick enough and shifty enough to still get away from the defender. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Tate's lined up in a single back formation. Handoff made. Keeps churning ahead. And that's a gain of maybe five. It's now second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. The Browns have it at the 29. Brian Hoyer, he's going to throw it down the field. And he's intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. Oh, when a defense gets an interception early in the game, oh, man, will that give them confidence. And it just makes them play more aggressive. So this is a very good start for the defense. First down on the way. Williams lined up in the slot. Now first and ten. To Williams. Not able to get away from Mingo that time. The Bills did a good job that time keeping the defense off balance. They throw the football, they pick up some solid yards now, and they can choose from run or pass. Coming up, second down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Set up screen. Taken down a yard short of the first. Third down now. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Here's the handoff. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Wide receivers are bunched up. Offense lines up here. Has his man. They deck him in the backfield. And now they'll try over again on second down. The Bills all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Take the snap from the 40. Going deep. So that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. <laughs> they face third down after the incomplete pass. Man, 
Emanuel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Dansby is able to get a hand on it and knock it away. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback reading his eyes. He made the move at the right time and he knocked the pass down. Going for it on fourth down. Offense lines up here. Manuel is going to take the snap from the shotgun. Down the field. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. The Browns do a great job here on defense, making the stop on fourth and long. Yeah, fourth and long, there's only so few things you can do, Jim. So the defense was ready. They're well coached in situations like this and they get it done they come to the line and it's first down the defense go, go, comes out of the nickel they'll run it here he is brought down at the 49 yard line new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground tapes lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback halfway through this first quarter now Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Nothing like the draw play. Get those defensive ends rushing up the field to hit the quarterback. Boom. You hand the football off. Big running lanes. That's why it works so well. Second and short following the run. The jumbo Black set on the field. The Browns come out in a jumbo set. Right back to him once more. Touchdown. Now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. The Browns line up now for the point after. He made it. Ready for the kickoff. McKelvin will field this one. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. First down coming up. Williams is in the slot. Manual from the gun. Launches it down the field. What a catch. In stride and he's home for the touchdown. touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Bills with the PAT to come. It's good. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. Takes it from the four, and here we go. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Split backfield here. Red, blue tip, blue tip. Dagger, 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 dagger. 
First and ten. The defense gets the sack. Well, good job that time by the defense. They kept the offense off guard, and they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. Pass is intercepted. Nice tackle. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. First down, offense readying for the snap. The Bills come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. They're setting up screen. Picks up about five. When the defense is going to play safe, and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards the sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. Second down hey, coming hey. up. Manuel's setting up now in the pistol. He'll go ground. Still on his feet. And that's good for only a yard or two. Manuel's going to be in the pistol here. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. They motion the receiver around to the other side. Gets the handle here. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Spillers lined up as a single back. Timeouts called, and we're going to step aside and be back in just a moment. This will be a field goal attempt from 37 yards out. Three. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. And he'll start his return. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. First down here. It's Tate in the backfield. Go run it. Here's the handoff. What an explosive run by Tate. The Browns offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by the Excellent planning and awesome execution. First down at the 49. Finds Burleson. Burleson's tackle right at the 35. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. The Browns will take the snap from the 35, and that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Second down and three, following that nice run. Ryan Hoyer three, will take it from the center. Three, 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 Two tight ends on the field here. Trying to beat the play Blue clock. Hand off, trying to plow ahead. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's that's nice. Hoyers lined up. Two tight ends set. The Browns from the 22 to the ground. And there's only two yards to be found right there. Second down coming up. Hoyers got two tight ends on the field for this snap. 
There we go now. Green, 90. The catch made. And that's a gain of 13. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down. And the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, it's a terrible job by the defense. First down here after the completion. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And that'll be a gain of about two. Second down here. Nickel formation here for the defense. Quick drop back. Mario Williams has a sack. How about the defense on that play? They were not fooled. They see the pass coming. They get the penetration. They get to the quarterback quick, and that's a big sack down near the goal line. Only eight yards to go. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Blue tip! Blue tip! Zebra! Zebra! Third and goal from the eight. Throws the pass. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You fail on third and goal. What do you do? Do you go for it? I say you call the play, and you try to put up seven points. Lining up here, looking to tie the game on this field goal try. It converts on the three. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points. But they're fortunate they do get the field goal try and they make it. Runs up to grab it at the four. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. First down here. Williams going to get set in the slot for this snap. We'll go shotgun here. Going for the home run. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, Man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. That leads us hey, to second hey. down. The Bills have it at the 29. He's got the catch. Kruger's going to make the tackle. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They go screen with Spiller. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. He'll throw it over the middle. A near interception by Whitner. 
I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Timeout, charge to the offense. Third down following the incompletion. Spillers in the backfield, single back set. for that one and he's got it defensive coordinators love this situation don't they third and long they can do just about anything and it's going to work and they stop the offense that time the defense stops the clock Close enough to a first to go for it here on fourth down. Spiller takes his spot in the backfield. The give. Wide to the left. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Well, I like the decision that time to go for it on fourth and short. You, know, you got some big old hogs up front. They're pretty strong. So it's fourth down. Go for it. And you pick it up. First down here after the run. Goodwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Rubens able to read that play and make the hit. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Second down following the run. Williams is a receiver in the slot. <laughs> Manual from the gun. Goodwin's got it on a pass that had some heat. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Goodwin's handed the football, and this run goes backwards and will end up as a loss of five. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped. The Bills will take the snap from the 25. Muscles through the defender. Manuel going to take off with it. And he's brought to the ground. It's third down coming up. Oh, 
play after play after play here on this drive. Third and five. Touchdown, Bills. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Browns official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. Fields the football at the three. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. The Browns ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 22. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. The Browns from the 22. And here's the toss. Running room. Touchdown, Cleveland Browns. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The Browns with an extra point try on the way. The point after try is in the books. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. there at the 20. They face first down. Watkins is lined up in the slot. First down at the 20. Looking to go down the field here, but it falls incomplete. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. That's second down coming up. defense that time in position they read the quarterback's eyes and it led to an interception they come to the line of scrimmage first down Brian Hoyer takes it from the center. The handoff to Ben Tate. That guy spikes that time. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. Looks to his left. Has Cameron. 
He stacked up at that point. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. Ace, Ace, Ace. Here we go. Ooh. Looking to go up top again on first down. Game 11. We've reached halftime, and we'll be sending it back to our studio and Larry Ridley as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. Pundit ready now to get the second half underway. Goodwin's running this one out. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Bills are getting set for their next possession. First down at the 20. Goodwin's going to secure the handoff. They'll meet him this time behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down here after that run play. Goodwin's in the slot. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Kruger's there that time for the tackle. They still face third and six even after that last successful pass play. Will go no huddle. Throws to the right on the money. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Incomplete as he was looking short. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You could go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. And here we have second down. Graham's going to get set in the slot for this step. Will go ground. Off the left side. Picks up about two. Now looking at third down. They're going to the hurry. lined up no extra blockers for this snap takes it from the gun easy catch there no one near him Play number six coming up on this drive. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Spiller takes it on the toss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Offense lines up here. Pitches it back. Brought down at the 44.
It'll be third down. It's a two tight end formation. Catch made. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. That long gain sets them up here on this play. The Bills call timeout, and they'll have two remaining. down on the way let's see how they back up the big play here and he's taken down This will be second down. This has been a long drive so far. The long drive continues. This long drive continues. Second down and a long way to go. A near interception by Whitner. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game that can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. What a drive this has been. Just a quick drop back. Scrambling out of the pocket. Intercepted. They bring him to the turf. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bills team official. E.J. Manuel's injury is not going to stop him from getting back on the field. He'll take a little more time to recuperate, but guys, he will be returning to this game. Back to you. They come to the line, and it's first down. Brian Boyer will take it from the center. Hand off made. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down and 11. Tate's got it on the handoff. Tackle down at the 22. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Third down.
There we go now. Green, 90. Green, 90. The Browns from the 22. Finds Burleson. Grams the one who brings him to the ground. I love it when I hear, oh, he threw off his back foot. Well, the quarterback threw off his back foot that time, gets the completion down the field, and that's what he should have done. When you're going to take a big hit, you got to protect yourself. Throw off the back foot. First down here after the completion. This should be the last play of the quarter. Ready, move 45. The Browns offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. First down coming up. Final quarter underway now with this snap. He's tackled right at the 31. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Offense lines up here. Dropping back three. Looking across the middle. Incomplete. That was Gilmore on the coverage. That was excellent man-to-man -man coverage that time. When you want to shut down a receiver, really the only way to do it is to man up and play him one-on-one. -on -one. The offense needs nine here on third down after that incompletion. Third and nine is the call. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. Z, 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 Z. Drop back. Shotgun formation. Throws the pass. Can't find the target on the pass underneath. Six. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. McKelvin from the 20. Game maybe five. The Bills offense heads on to the field. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Gets away from the pressure. Almost intercepted that time. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Second down following that incompletion. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Manuals back in shotgun formation. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, that time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line, just they just collapsed. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Fourth down after just a three-play series. The punter awaits the snap. the 
stop. This series begins for the offense with a very good chance to score. Offense lines up here. The Brown from the 32. Here's the handoff, and that gains a few. Tate's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short gain. Second down. Here we go. Here Tate's we go. lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Searching for space to the right. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Third down on the way. Play. Tie game Play. here in the late going. The defense needs to make a stop. They cannot give up the big play right now. remaining in the game. A new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. They've come out in the dime package. Ready, three, 90, three, 90. They call his name again. That's a gain of six. Always manage the football game. You got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. That'll be second and four after the running play. Nickel formation for the defense here. Another handoff right back to him. Rivers is the one who made the big stop. Browns come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. There we go now. Move for the play. Third and seven. They'll run it here. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Bills in a tie game will call a timeout. They clearly want the ball back with a chance to do something. The Browns are a kick away from a field goal that would give them the lead here late in the game. The kick is good. They were thinking touchdown that entire drive, but in the end, they have to go field goal. They convert here in the closing stages. Well, I'm sure they would have loved to kick that field goal as time expired, but that's not the case. Good job of moving the football down the field, getting that field goal to put them ahead, and now the defense, go out there and do your job. Goodwin's going to test the coverage here. And they 
stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Browns official. Ben Tate's Carson Palmer's injury has been diagnosed as a dislocated elbow. The elbow was put back in place, and now doctors will need an MRI to confirm that there was no ligament down. Now first and ten. Williams. The Bills now move the chains. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. When you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Well, this defense cover four, where four defensive backs are back there deep. It stops all the big passes down the field. But look at these crossing routes. Wide open, hit them, and let them catch it, run, and you still get the big plays. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Goodwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second down, three for the first. Looking long. And intercepted. He's brought to a halt. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. There we go now. They'll go Brown. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Bills will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. The defense comes out of the dime. <laughs> Takes the knee. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing around the golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the next